Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a snap head rivet. That's joining two pieces of metal with a rivet. This is a semi-permanent method. So you can actually take it apart again by sawing through it, but it's a very good strong joint for joining two sheet metals. We need to have the holes drilled in the two pieces of metal that we're going to join together and it has to be a three and a half millimeter diameter hole. Then we need these tools. This is called a snap and set. So it's one item, but the name is snap and set. The snap is the domed dimple there and the set is the hole. So a snap and set and it just looks like this. So we put the snap and set in our vise with the holes facing up and try and keep it flush just above the surface of the vise. So almost flush but not quite just above the surface of the vise. We then take a snap head rivet. Now this is what a snap head rivet looks like. You get different lengths, you get longer ones, you get shorter ones, you get ones made from different materials. This is an aluminium one. And you get flat head rivets and you get countersunk rivets and it depends on the shape of the head. So this is a snap head, so it's domed but it's known as a snap head rivet. So we pop the snap head into the snap, the dome bit, it fits nicely there. And then we put on our first piece of material, aluminium, that we're going to join together. And then we thread on our second piece. Now the length of this rivet is too long. We need to trim it about the diameter of the rivet, three and a half millimetres. So I'm just sitting another rivet on the side there. And I get these end cutters. So a pair of end cutters, and the end cutters, oops, sit that back on the side again, face it this way. The end cutters, you feed down until it sits on top of that little rivet that I had in place, squeeze them together, and cut the rivet to just above the diameter of that spare rivet. So... Now to start creating the rivet. We take our ball peen hammer and we gently tap on the top of that rivet just a little bit. We are not flattening it, we're just tapping a little bit. So it's a little bit flattened. Then we get our second snap and set. And we put the snap, the dome shape, on top of here. And this is where it gets a wee bit tricky to hold it but we're just holding that on there and then oh, holding it on there and then tapping that down. Keep tapping and you'll see it's starting to form its snap on there. And there we go, there's our snap formed nicely. We've got a nice dome on here, so that's our snap head there, and we have the snap on the other side. So we have it there and there. And that's how you form a snap head rivet.